All right, guys, I have to be honest. The Disney Blues are hitting real bad. It has been seven months since my last Disney trip, which is so sad to me. I'm very, very excited. We have a Disney cruise planned in just under three months from the time of recording this, so I'm excited for that. But I also realized today it's gonna be another seven months before I'm gonna be back in the Disney parks, which breaks my heart a little bit. But today we are combating the Disney blues. We are not gonna be sad because we are making one of my favorite Disney park treats. I'm gonna put on some ears. I've got some Disney music playing in the background. Personally, I love the like mini lo-fi beats playlist. And we are making Mickey beignets. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Allie and I talk all things Disney and photography, but I've got everything laid out, so let's get started. These are what we're making today. Now, if you're curious about this cookbook, this is the official Disney Parks cookbook. Um, my sister-in-law got this for me for Christmas last year. Thanks, Laura. If you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description to if you wanna get like the whole cookbook, but Mickey beignets. Also, for anybody that's interested, I will leave um, the ingredients and instructions for like the whole recipe in the, de in the description as well. So one of the first things we need for this recipe is some warm water. So I've got an electric kettle here. I like this one because it has the exact temperature on it, but you can also just heat up some water on the stove or even the microwave if that's what you have. Cool, so while that's warming up, I'm gonna be adding the yeast to the bowl. So look at my little Mickey spoon. I love it. All right, so the water's all warm. So now I'm adding a little bit to the yeast to dissolve, and we're gonna let it sit for just a few minutes. Now, I'm also gonna be making technically two changes to this recipe, but I will explain those when I get there. All right, so we're gonna set this aside for just a second. So next is sugar. And this is one of the changes that I'm making. So the recipe in the book calls for shortening, but I don't typically like do well with like shortening or vegetable oil or all that. So I'm actually using um, lard, but the texture is the same and it should not be an issue. Okay, and then a little bit of salt and some heavy cream. Very thick. Give all that a quick stir. Honestly, it has been way too long since I've had a Mickey beignet, because we also, on our last trip, we actually didn't get a chance to, to try any, so it definitely needs to be a priority. On our next Disney trip, do they have them on the cruise? They have Mickey beignets on the cruise, so I'd be all, all over that. And then also an egg. Just drop <laughs> the whole shell in there. All right, and then next is the flour. How many do these make? 10 large or two dozen small. I'm gonna be eating beignet. Well, let's be real, we'll probably eat them all tonight. <laughs> I'd like to say we'll have them for days, but like, reality, no. Okay, I will say the instructions do say to use like, I think it says to use an electric mixer, but I'm doing it by hand, I may regret it. I think I'm already ready. <laughs> Okay, I think I need the, uh, the rest of the water now. And then in addition to the, to the warm water earlier with the yeast, there's also some boiling water in the dough. Okay. Every time I think of beignets now, all I think about is Tiana, Princess and the Frog. I can't watch that movie because every time I watch that movie, I just want beignets. But I'm so excited to see all of the um, the re-theming from Splash Mountain and all the new Princess and the Frog things that they're bringing. I, I can't wait, I hope they serve beignets. Beignets everywhere. 
four cups of flour. I think once I get this a little bit more mixed, we'll add the yeast mixture back in. Just realized things are getting really messy. I, I need an apron. Like I have an apron, but it's just like a plain black. I feel like I need a Disney apron. There's so many options though. Like, what do you guys think? Like, do you have any of the Disney themed aprons or do you have like a favorite? Cause I feel like I need a Disney apron. Let me know, like comment below if you have a favorite or which one you think I should. I should look at getting. I have a feeling this is about, about to get messy. All right, ring's coming off. Mickey. It's like a little Mickey coming through. It's the little things, right? When you're not at Disney, when you're home, it's the little, the little Disney things. Now, while this is all going, I also have a um, pot on the stove behind me that's heating up some oil. And this is the second little change that I made. Like I said, I don't usually do typically well with like vegetable oil, like canola oil. So instead I am frying with coconut oil. Nugs. If you've ever been curious, I fry with coconut oil all the time. And if like you're concerned that it'll taste like coconut, I promise you it won't. Um, I've made sweet things. I've made like chicken fried steak fried in coconut oil. There we go. All right, some good old fashioned kneading. Now, of course, if you have um, as like a stand mixer, like with a dough hook, it'll do that for you. But I don't have one uh, to use today, so I'm doing it the old fashioned way, but nothing wrong with that. All right, we're looking pretty good. So now that this is all combined and kneaded out, it's gonna rest for about like 30-ish minutes. And I think while it's doing that, I'm gonna make some coffee. So I recently gotten an order of Disney inspired coffee from Joffrey's. If you're interested, I actually have an entire unboxing video that I will link um, above and in the description below. But, I got this uh, Ruby Aero blend and it's honestly one of the ones I've been most excited to try. So I think I'm gonna try them today with our beignets. I decided I want to have coffee in my chip mug. Look how cute he is. I attempted latte art and it did not, it did not pan out. That's fine, it'll still taste good. Our dough is just about done resting, so now it's time to actually roll them and cut them out in Mickey shapes. I always get a little excited when I get to make things that I use a rolling pin to roll out because this rolling pin, it's like a vintage rolling pin that we got at like a little shop in Oklahoma, like right before my husband and I got married. And so it always makes me think of our wedding and like we got married and stuff. It just makes me happy. Okay, so just to roll them out to a quarter inch thick. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Now, these are the cutters that I'm using. I don't have any 
from the actual like Disney parks and stuff. But I like these because it has five different like Mickey sizes. Anything you see that I'm using, I'll be sure to link in the description if you're interested. I think I'm gonna make most of them like the big Mickeys, but I might make a few that are like the tiny Mickeys for like, like bite-sized beignets. So I think this made a little bit more than I thought it was going to, either that or the cutter size I have is smaller than what they consider large because I have 10, oh my God, I have 10 of the big ones and four of the mini ones and I still have like half the dough left. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and fry these up first and then I'll probably come back to the rest of the dough a little bit later. I've got the oil heated up behind me and then I also have a sheet pan with some paper towels and then um, a rack for when um, they come off so they can drain. And then we will cover them in some powdered sugar. Okay, so the recipe says to heat the oil up to 350 degrees. I don't actually have a like thermometer, like a candy thermometer that would work. So I'm gonna kind of just wing it and we'll see how it goes. I think I'm gonna do a couple of the the mini ones to try out first. Okay, well they are frying, that's a good sign. Oh my goodness, look. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh, I cannot wait to try these. Ah, yes. Okay, let's try, let's try a couple big ones now. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fry up the rest of these. Oh my gosh, they look so good. I'm so excited to try these. Yay, Mickey beignets. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try these. The coffee is delicious, by the way. If you haven't tried that Joffrey's Riviera blend, can confirm it's delicious. They're so messy. <laughs> Worth it. Mm. Oh my gosh. I think I'm good now. I'm not as sad anymore. I think I found the cure for the Disney blues, guys. Mickey beignets, Disney coffee, and a Disney mug, some ears, and some Disney music. That'll do it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like these kind of more vlog style videos, I do have another one on my channel. That's um, our vlog from when we went to Marceline, Missouri, which is Walt Disney's hometown for a uh, special celebration. So if you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description and above so you can go check that one out too. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna finish these.